Well, the box office hit Twisters, uh, brought more than $80 million into the weekend opening. The film features storm chasers studying tornadoes in Oklahoma. To the normal person, it can be easy to overlook some of the weather-related details in the film. But do you ever wonder how accurate they are? Three meteorology PhD candidates at the University of Oklahoma had a part in some minor but important details for the movie Twisters. Joining me now is Maddie Deirdrickson and Rachel Cross, both finishing their PhDs at OU, School of Meteorology. Ladies, thank you so much for joining me. This is so exciting. You have, you know, the research notebook that was used as props in the film. Tell us how you were even presented with such an awesome opportunity to create these props that really, I think for me, watching it as a meteorologist, help tell the story. Yeah, so some of the prop crew came and did some interviews with some grad students, mm -hmm. myself included. And it was during that time that they offered or presented the opportunity for me to write the notebook. So then I reached out to Maddie and then another grad student, Emily Linhart, um, used their expertise, put together a draft, and then gave them the final copy. Yeah, looking at these notebooks brought me right on back to my thermodynamics class <laughs> in, in yep, college, your, right? Your favorite class of all of my them. Sure. These long, these real formulas, right? The hypsometric equation. How long yep. did it take you to write uh, the notebook, and what specific notes did you put together for this project? I think combined with all of our efforts, um, it's probably 40 to 50 hours of work. Mm -hmm. And we took notes from like our research meetings. We took notes from thermodynamics classes, supercell and tornado dynamics, along with atmospheric chemistry and cloud physics. Yeah, all, all classes yep. that I remember. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, had to handpick the notes that we wanted to include in the notebook that helped with some of what was shown in the movie and then also having to rewrite it. So it looked a little nicer than the scrunched up notes most grad students have. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it is such a cool opportunity. Have you guys seen the movie? What, what do you think as opposed to, you know, it's realistic features and, you know, of course the, yeah. the cinematic piece of it. Yeah. So we've both gotten to see the movie um, here in more uh, Oklahoma and there's definitely some parts that I could definitely see that we've done in field work before, but then there's others, somewhat what's shown on the TV here is a little bit more dramatized and not quite where we're getting to. So we like to, in our field work, uh, collect data a little bit further away from the tornadoes, <laughs> mm -hmm. keep our safety in check, both driving and also with the storm. So. Exactly. A little bit different safety, in those aspects. Safety is key. Maddie, I know you've been out there storm chasing with Noah, which is such a cool <laughs> opportunity. Um, yes. And this is just, I think, so cool to be able to showcase what us uh, meteorologists and you mm -hmm. going through to your PhD, the real life science that we have stored up in our brains and that we work so hard mm -hmm. uh, to capture. Thank you so much for joining us on Fox Weather, sharing your story, and wish you all the best uh, with your thesis and, and getting your PhDs. I think so you. much. Also, I'm glad they, they took the people who were in the middle of their coursework instead of somebody who's been 20 years out of it. Because <laughs> <laughs> they've got that stuff down a little bit better than I would at this point.